Hello YouTube, this is Fletcherfees, and welcome back to Minecraft. And, okay, I've been thinking about this for a little while, and this time I'm actually not going to be working on this model. So, I do intend to complete this one, so before I continue with this one, I figured I'm going to do what a lot of you have been asking me to do for quite a long time now, and I am going to begin filming the tutorial. So I've been thinking about how I wanted to do this for a little while, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going, because this is obviously a very large build, so I've been thinking about it, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the heights of everything, or like the groups of blocks, what roughly to do, and I'm going to time lapse actually building it. I'm also just going to build the skeleton of the ship, and I will build the, like I'll actually fill in the framework off camera because that just takes too long. I've already done that anyway at the bow. So, I think a lot of you could probably figure out the propellers just by looking at them, but I will explain those as well. And I still don't have a better way of doing the center screw, although looking at it again, it doesn't look terrible, but it's not great either. So, I'll figure out something for that. And, uh, yeah, all that being said, um, I guess let's get into it. So I've already marked out where I want it to be, and, um, one tip I will give you is if you want the wood to be facing this direction, like the way that it actually was on the ships, then you're going to want the ship to be facing X direction. Positive or negative, doesn't matter. I have mine facing positive X, actually not in the Z direction, because the Z direction will have the wood, and I used to do this all the time, will have the wood facing the wrong way. It'll have it facing lengthwise. Which... To be honest, like, you may not even notice it. I didn't really used to until I was actually looking for it. But it's just kind of a nice little detail to have. I've also increased the size of the bridge because it was annoying me. And while this is an oversized bridge, it allows for the right number of windows and it allows for a little bit more detail on the inside. So that's okay. And everything else stays the same. So the bridge ones are actually going to change on the, on the ship that I'm showing you. And so will the A deck and B deck and... F deck, and I think that's about it. So these ships are fairly different. Anyway, that being said, I need to get the blocks that I need out. Alright, hang on, let me get rid of some of the stuff that I don't need right now. Keep that on me just in case, I don't think we're gonna get to that. Definitely don't need TNT, grass, or a flame bow anymore. Don't need that anymore. Definitely still need this. I need the yellow concrete. And the black concrete, which is not in my inventory. And you can totally build the ships out of wool, out of, um, out of terracotta. You can build them out of anything. I like the concrete because it doesn't have much of a texture, as you can see. So it just looks pretty good for painted metal. And, well, basically just because there's nothing... And that's how, actually why I use terracotta a lot in Pocket Edition. Anyway, yeah, so to start, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mark out where you want the bow to be. And I'm going to show you the way that I do it. So, you're going to want to place down, including this block, 269 blocks going from the bow all the way to the stern, and this will mark out the keel of the ship. Now, as you can see, the keel of Titanic is off the ground a little bit, and I will show you how I replicate that as well. And, obviously, the rudder is also actually a little bit shorter than the keel, and that's okay, we can shape that later. So, for right now, that doesn't really matter, and, um, yeah, all that being said, let's go ahead and get into a time-lapse. So, I'm going to go ahead and place 268 blocks behind this one, and then I will bring you back in, and, uh, yeah, we can continue with the shaping. So, I will talk to you in a sec. Okay, so welcome back in. Obviously, I could cheat a little bit because I have I already have the Titanic in the distance that I can use to kind of get an idea of the size that I want. I'm assuming you guys probably won't have that, and so what you can do is, obviously, you could count all the blocks. I like to count them in groups of 10, so just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, start over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, and just do that all the way back. And that just makes it a little bit, like, easier on your brain, so you don't really have to think too much, and, uh, yeah, so that's always nice. There's, uh, there are a few things that we can do to ease the process a little bit. 
Anyway, so now what you want to do is the next thing you want to do is go up 12 on this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's 12 not including this, so 13 blocks total. And then we will go up by another 16 blocks, this time in black concrete. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There we go. And then you want a yellow concrete block on top of that, and that'll be the top of the shear line. And then you want three smooth quartz blocks on top of that. Now, to start shaping it. So, the first four blocks of the so on the first block down you want to do this and this and break a hole in it and this is the hawse is what it's known as h-a-w-s-e that is a hole that you could thread an anchor chain or a tow cable through then you want to go three blocks down so just mark that like that put a block somewhere because it's obviously really difficult to see black concrete and then you want to break that away Keep the rest of this in until you finish the shaping of it, because it just makes life easier on you. Then you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 down, and then in again. And this will give us that nice curve at the bow of the Titanic. This block is the one that you will use to drag down all of the remaining black blocks, and then you want to go two red so you should note here the black the red the black should be directly on top of the red there is no sloping between the two then you want to go in one more make sure you break that block away then you want to go down another three and then you want to go down in one more and down another two and then one more and then you want to go in another one, but this time you want to go three back. And then you want to go in again, this time you want to go five back. And then in again. This time you want to go seven back. And then you want to go in again, but this time you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just like that, we should now have the shape of the bow of the ship, just like that. And now you want to get rid of all this, which might be a time-consuming process, but that's okay. So is building a ship. No one said that this was going to be easy. And make sure that you break all of this away right the way down to the connecting point here, and break that one away as well. And just like that, we have ourselves the beginning of a ship's skeleton. So, now to start shaping it. From here, we want to go out one on either side, and back one. Then we want to go out another, and back two. And then we want to do that again, and again. So if you're like me and you like counting the number of groups, the number of groups back should be 1, then 2, then 3, then 3, then 3. Okay? And then we want to go out by 1. But you want to stop there. You don't want to go any farther than that. Just out by 1. And then bring it down another one. But keep it in line, horizontally, like that. You don't want to go out. You just want to go down. There we go. And then these should go across by two, just like that. Now we want to go out one more, just like this. Here we go, out and out. And we want to go back by five, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And what we have now is a pretty interesting shape which I've already done wrong, I'm sorry. So the groups of three that I showed you earlier, you want to bring them out and down no, so to make the ship follow a nice, even contour, which is what... So a shear, I actually am not sure if I've explained this on camera. So a shear 
this yellow stripe across the ship, it's known as a shear line. It follows the shear of the ship, which is basically the way that the ship angles up at the bow and at the stern. And what that allows is for the ship to flex on the water. To mimic that, we want three at the front, and then... Well, yeah, I'll keep building it. I will try not to mess up again, I apologize. And if you've been following me block for block, just get rid of all the blocks that were there, like that. There we go. And now we have a nice shear line. As you can see, the ship's already trending down, which is exactly what we want to see. Now we want to go out one more, just like this, and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, for a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as you can see. There we go. Now you want to go out again. And you want to bring it out by. F you want to bring it out to five. So one, two, three, four, five. Do that on both sides. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Then you want to go down, not out, just down, just like that. Oop, just like that. Then you want to go four back. There we go. Then we're gonna go out one more. And you want these ones to be groups of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Then we're gonna go out one more. Just like that. Oh, no, mess that up. Like that. There we go. On both sides. And you want to bring these out to 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just like that. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. Now you want to bring them out by one more. On both sides. Just like that. You want to bring these out to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that on this side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're going to go down one. You want to drag these out to groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And over here, one, two, three, four, five. And now you want to go out one. And on this side. And we're just going to pull this back a little bit. Doesn't matter how far really, because this is eventually going to join up with the stern. So I'm just going to bring it back a little bit. Not counting or anything. Just bringing it out far enough that we can get some of the ship's detailing in. So there we go. And that's already looking pretty good. So now, I'm actually going to continue with this part of the skeleton. And this is kind of what I was debating on earlier, is whether I wanted to build it this way, where I just built an outline first, or if I wanted to do it the way that I built this ship in the tutorials. I opted on this way because I think this will be faster. I don't know for a fact. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to bring this up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 12, 13, sorry, my bad, we want to bring the black up by 15, and if I'm right, that should be one block, one block lower than what we did at the bow. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. By the way, I'm going to have you guys also do what I did, because I think it's a good idea, so go six blocks, including the one at the very stern. So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and on the 7th block, break it away. And then on the 5th block, break that away as well. Sorry, not on the 5th block, on the 6th block. That was a mistake on my part. This marks where the rudder is going to be. This is the end of the rudder, this is the start of the rudder. So the forward part of the rudder and the aft part of the rudder. The ship's stern will extend all the way to here. As you can see, the rudder does not go as far back as the stern does. 
because that's what's accurate to the real ship. And then on top of this, you're going to want to place one yellow block and one, two white blocks. Now from here, from here you're going to want to go one, two, one, two, three, one, one, one. Do that on both sides. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now these ones. You're going to want to drag it back to three. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. Then we go out and place a set of two, like so. Then we go down, just like that. Don't bring it out, just down. You want to do a group of three. So, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Then we go out. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Near that on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Now you bring it out again. Just like this. You want to bring these out to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll bring it down one once again, not out, just down. This one will stay as one because we're bringing it out now, just like that. You're going to want to drag these back to 23 blocks. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. There we go. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. From here, you will want to bring it down one. Just like this. And now this block should, if everything lines up correctly, connect straight up to the bell. So if you followed every block placement just right, these should line up in such a way that it, they connect perfectly. So as you can see, traveling that many blocks can be quite a hassle, but that's alright, we've got it done now. So now, let's start marking out the shape of the stern. So, for this we want to immediately go in one. And we're going to go at an immediate 45 degree angle for four blocks. We are going to bring this down again, however, but we're going to bring this in. Then we're going to go down again. We're going to bring this in by two blocks, so we should have four sets of one, then a two, then a three. Then we want another one, just like that. And then another one. And if this was all done properly, then bringing this up should connect up to where the rudder is going to go. Make sure the red is in line. I think we need one more block, there we go and drag this all the way up. Whoops. And clearly I've done something wrong already. And I think I know what that is. So we want this to go down two, but then we also want it to go across two, and then this goes across like that. And this should look better when the rudder goes in, so let's actually go ahead and do that now. So if we bring this up to the same height and match up with the black, we want to end it there, just like that. Then we want to go down two, we want to go one, whoops, one, two, three, and we want to go out, 
like that. I've done this wrong already. You want to go like that. You want to go two here. You want to go another two. You want to go out like that. And for this part of the rudder, you want to go one, two, out like this one, up two, then out again, and just like this. Like so. We can break away the, bro the blocks across the bottom of the rudder now, and we should have a shape like that. What we can also do is we can add in these. So these would be essentially hinges. Function was to spin the rudder, and I'll show you. How, I'll show you guys how to detail these later. But basically, should be like that. There we go. So you want one thing at the bottom, one block, and then one hole, and then two, and then a hole, and then another two, and then a hole of two, and then another two, and then a hole of one. And you want one red and one black. So this should this hinge should be exactly where the two meet up. Then onto a hole of two, and another hinge of two. And that should be it. That should lead all the way to the top of the rudder, and that should be done. So with that filled in, we'll actually want to fix this up. So that goes like that. Basically, bring everything up one block. Just like so. And that's it. Now if we get rid of this, I will show you something that I thought was pretty clever that you can use to detail this. So if we grab some acacia signs and for lack of a darker one, some dark oak signs, then all we have to do is place these, don't put any text on them, simply place them like so, and they give the impression that they are hinges holding the rudder to the stern of the Titanic. Just like that, do that on both sides, and then on the black parts you want to place the dark oak signs, and one more sign up here, and this is important, make sure that you do get this one in, because that is part of the hinge system. And there we go. If we step back, it's not perfect. There are flaws, but it's about as good as we can do with what we're given in Minecraft. Now, with all that outlined, we can go ahead and get rid of this. And with that being done, and I do realize I referred to the ship as Titanic, which is incorrect, this is the Olympic. But either way, with that being done, we can now take a step back, and you can see we've got a pretty good skeleton of a ship now. We've got the shear line in place, we've got the keel in place, and we've got the rudder in place. That's going to be all I'm going to show for this video. In the next video, we will start filling out the ship, putting in the ship's skeleton. But for right now, that's about all I got time for. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am aware that this video was highly anticipated. And uh, yeah, the next video will probably be continuing this ship, to be honest. Not finishing the tutorial ship. Made a mistake here, sorry guys. This should be two blocks tall. Two and a half blocks, but we're gonna put the slabs on later. And uh, yeah, that should just about do it. So in the next video, we'll be filling out the hull. And I should state... Everything we're doing for this ship applies to the Titanic as well. It's not until later videos that we're going to start seeing differences, specifically the superstructure. That is where we'll see the primary differences and, of course, the propellers, because while Titanic probably had a three-bladed sensor propeller, Olympic definitely had a four-bladed one. With all that being done, that's going to be the end of this video here, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.